Today we're here at Martin Barkey of MBRP, your personal garage. We know each other, we go way back. Years. Uh, yeah, yeah, for, for sure. The reason we came today is because you guys have just released a new system. MBRP's got their latest system out for an X3 Turbo. So as much as I'd love to just talk about cars and racing and all kinds of fun stuff, probably it's time to focus on this. Yeah, by all means. Well, you know what? The X3, as, as we both know, is killer uh, side by side, tons of power. And uh, you know what? It's an enthusiast bike kind of deal. Mm. And you know what? We've been blessed, uh, you know, to be able to work on bikes like these. One of the things I got to say about MBRP exhausts of all kinds, anything we've ever installed, is that they really do meet your three kind of criteria. They they sound great, they look great, and they're super high quality. That that is the three things that I would say defines an MBRP exhaust system. So why don't you tell me a little bit about? why those three aspects of an exhaust are most important for you and your position, the founder of the company, you built this company. But it's taken, you know, hundreds of people to do it along with me. And uh, we're blessed with great designers, uh, sales teams, uh, guys and girls in the plant. And you know what, I think over the years, you know, these bikes have come along. The, the technology now that are, that's in this side by side is just amazing. And I think it's important that as a manufacturer that we do the same thing. So. You know, if you look back and, and see what we manufactured back when you and I would have first met, I don't know, back in maybe the MXZ 670 days, you know what I mean? For sure. Um, we had a great product then too, but the, the units have come a long ways, be it snowmobile side by side. Uh, but as well, I do believe, as you've mentioned, you know, our products, our MBRP products, our brand has come a long way as well. So, you know, we're just blessed with a great workforce. We've often said in years gone by, you know, a sales team um, built by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. I remember that tagline. Right, and that was a few years back. Yep. But um, you know what, I think it's still, although it may not be our tagline right now, it's still something that I think plays a large role in, in who we are, and maybe, as you're mentioning, how we build these products. So tell me about what we have here. I mean, obviously, it's an impressive looking system. There's some really trick parts here that I think finish it off nicely. But tell me what makes this system different than any of the competition. When we're doing a side-by-side, -side, and, and you would have been seen in, in other brands and, and some of ours, you know, you take that universal five inch muffler or maybe an oval as, as it may be. And, you know, you find the easiest road out and, you know, you get underneath there so that it fits right. It, it, it sounds good, of course, and there's some performance gains. And, and usually a manufacturer, you know, will, will bring that to market and away you go. You want to be first, you want to be somewhat early and you want to, of course, get a good product out to the consumer. I think in this particular case, the design team, uh, along with some input from the sales team and then, of course, input from our customers that come through our sales, um, we just wanted to come up with something a little different. And in this particular case, um, you know, you're gonna see we have what we call a center dump here. We've utilized our uh, oval uh, straight through design muffler. And, and when you mentioned components, I mean, uh, all of our components have a US forestry approved spark arrestor that, you know, in and out cleans easy. But I, I think you're re referring to this one mostly. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, a carbon fiber right now, and as you know, MBRP is huge in automotive and trucks and cars and Euro and everything. But uh, back to the side by side, we wanted to get some carbon fiber out there in the side by side world, and we were able to do this on the turbo here. Everybody loves carbon fiber. This is this is the part I think that just finishes the system and lets people know that you weren't messing around when you bought your exhaust. You bought you bought the exhaust to have, right? when that's sticking out the back here totally. of your side-by-side. -side. Totally. Well, we've, as I said, had a lot of experience with different products that you guys have built over the years, and, and uh, we've run them on all different vehicles. We've had long-term test units that we've abused the crap out of, which is why I'm curious to see what this one sounds like once it's on an X3 with a triple under the hood, because those things sound mean already. So are you up for getting your hands dirty and helping me put this thing on? I think I can do that. We're putting the spark arrestor in, but you just mentioned something that I had never actually thought of with a spark arrestor. And I don't know why I haven't thought of this. I feel stupid for not thinking about it, but you actually mentioned that you take your spark arrestor out and clean it. And I'm sorry to all the people who are watching this who already knew that, and I look dumb, but I never thought of that before. Yeah, you know, it, it's meant to actually do that. So it's catching particles, it's catching soot, it's, it's catching any sparks that would come out. Mm -hmm. But if it's gonna catch the spark, it's gonna catch anything else that may be coming out. Um, so yeah, definitely it's, it's easy. I mean, it's as simple as, that, yep. wash, solvent, clean it, brush it, do whatever you want, hose it out. This is stainless steel wire as yep. well. So yeah, 
It's meant to be taken out and, as you say, cleaned up. Well, I think we're one step away from putting that really cool tip on. Yeah, by all means. Tell me about where this concept with the carbon fiber wrap around the stainless tip, where did, where did you come up with that? Well, you know what, it really is, is sort of a Euro automotive deal, right? So um, yeah, it was just, I think I, I didn't come up with it. I'd love to take, uh, <laughs> I, I'd like to take the, uh, the heads up there, but no, the design team would have probably, you know, we've been doing a lot of um, Audi and, and such lately. So uh, I bet you any money, the guys probably had an Audi tip around the shop and somebody said, hey, check that out, away we go. Yeah, so. well that was pretty slick how that just went on. Yeah, it's real simple. And then of course, all we're gonna do now is uh, the supply clamp that's there as well. Tighten that up and we're good to go. That's gotta be the easiest exhaust install I've ever done. That was a perfect example of MBRP's fits right. Right, that, that fit exactly. We didn't have to push anything or swear at all. It Fits just, right the first time. Just went right on. And you know what, I mean, we've been at it many, many years. We've got, <laughs> I, I, I keep coming back to the design team. Uh, and you know what, lots of manufacturers have great designers and great design teams, but I, I guess I or we get to see it firsthand each time we put on an MBRP. What I like about this is the factory plastic went back on. So it has this stealthy kind of stock appearance, but then you get that center, like it's just focused right here on that cool carbon fiber exhaust tip. Yeah, you know, we, we've seen some where this plastic doesn't go back on and right. you see everything and, and the mechanics of it. Uh, I think the designers and the sales team basically just decided that this was a nice clean look. Mm -hmm. This becomes the center point, mm -hmm. carbon fiber, we all like that. Yep. And uh, yeah, simple, ready to go. Something we should mention is we've also, we've utilized the factory heat shields. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've got the O2 sensor back in place as well. Because this system doesn't require any tuning. Nothing. This bolt is just on a bolt on. Ride. Go and enjoy ride. it, listen to it. Right. Enjoy that throttle response, the power. Bolt on and ride. So I guess the next thing we got to do is, is we got to get out and hear it. I can see that twinkle in your eye that I know you want to hold this thing wide open. I, can, I just want to know who's gonna, who's driving it, you or I. <laughs> yeah, I have to, it is your garage, so you know, I think you maybe win that one. Well, let's see how it sounds, let's go. All right. If you've enjoyed this segment, make sure you hit the like button and also comment down below because we love hearing from our fans and we try to reply as much as possible. And also make sure you subscribe because here at Dirt Tracks, we've always got cool stuff coming your way.